there uh, was a lot of plastic. Uh, we found over 70,000 pieces of plastic on this particular expedition. Yeah, I sighted this about 300 meters away from the boat and knew automatically it was a soccer ball. And ran back to the quarter deck and like, we've got to pick this thing up. We sighted things like sports balls, like volleyballs. We came across a soccer ball. Um, we saw things like different buoys, uh, fishing gear. I saw quite a few ghost nets with a lot of stuff tangled up in them. In 83 hours of observations, I saw 2,516 pieces of plastic. My advisor, David Heirenbach, does a lot of marine debris research. He focuses primarily on seabirds and just in plastic. And he's just been a total wealth of information. He's provided me the framework to do this project. Uh, the different sampling techniques that I've been doing are all developed by him and his previous student, Andrew Titmus. And uh, the model, I think, the statistical model I'll be plugging all of my numbers into is also something that he developed. So I'll be able to compare my macro surveys to what we pulled up in toes, to the fish that I've caught, to wider oceanographic patterns. Yes, it's really depressing. There's loads of plastic out in the ocean, but we can get the word out. We can educate people that it's there and that the only way to deal with it is for people to realize that it's there and modify their, their behaviors, their way of thinking of how we handle plastic. It's a really important resource for a lot of things, but we need to eliminate things like single-use objects, the stuff we just throw away. You know, we don't need to use uh, a new water bottle every day. We don't need to use a new grocery bag every day. Things like that are really simple fixes that are, you know, economically sensible, they're environmentally sensible, and it will hopefully ultimately reduce the amount of plastic that's making up to the oceans in general.